Arsenal Fan TV is a relic of YouTube and the meme industry that has managed to achieve a level of cultural impact that most media companies could only dream of. The channel is about giving a voice to the people who feel like they have no say. Each character lives and breathes Arsenal Football Club and has contributed significantly to the meme hall of fame. In order to understand the AFTV story and its characters, we need to go back. Robbie Lyle, aka Don Robbie, is one of the co-founders of Arsenal Fan TV and former reggae sensation. In October 2012, he created AFTV with Tao Wetzer, who was the cameraman and video editor for the channel. It laid the blueprint for the fan TV genre on YouTube, and the channel is arguably the definition of right time, right place. Robbie has always posted consistently, so when the apple started to rot away at Arsenal, Robbie would provide the platform for fans to express the mass feeling and vibe around the club. Through years of content, Don Robbie is also the face behind the viral dub meme, which consists of pictures of Robbie followed by a caption of how monumental the dub is. He's a passionate fan who lets everybody say their piece without interruption or judgement. The cinematic universe they've managed to create is on the level of the MCU. No one else on YouTube has managed to recreate the level of depth and emotion in its characters over the years than AFTV. Many people have made consistent appearances throughout the years on the channel, but there are a select few who have changed the meme sphere forever. One of the most iconic faces of Arsenal Fan TV is this man. Troops is known for his angry rants, excessive use of the words blood and fam, while also having a friendship with former Arsenal player Aubameyang, which seems to be in the mud since he joined Chelsea. Aubameyang who? Aubameyang what? Aubameyang blood! Aubameyang blood! Aubameyang blood! Yeah? My fucking brother! Ty is known for owning every single piece of merchandise from the club shop, getting mistaken for a player on Sky Sports, his often wild and completely random excuses for losing games, and his loyalty towards Arsene Wenger, which has often resulted in him getting called delusional. The legendary Claude was known for his pessimistic view of the Arsenal regime, saying, It's time to go! and shouting at Ty. Together with Ty, they were AFTV's dynamic duo, best mates, and providing the chalk and cheese perspective on the arse. DT is also known for his hot-headed temper on screen after an Arsenal loss. There was a long-running joke in the football meme community that any time Arsenal would lose, he would quote, go home and hit the wife, because of his over-aggressive passion in his interviews with Robbie. Lee Judges is known for being bald and never celebrating a goal from a Spurs player, even if they're playing for England. He is often seen to give the most logical and reasonable perspective on the club, although that doesn't stop him from being a meme from time to time. Consistent decline of Arsenal performances towards the end of Wenger's era led for the perfect concoction of toxicity and drama within the fan base for AFTV to become household names. It wasn't just Arsenal fans who were tuned in to watch, it was also entertainment for everyone who didn't support Arsenal because of the hilarious display of frustration from its characters after a lacklustre performance from Arsenal. Arsenal became the punching bag for every club to laugh at, and people began to question whether the viewers were watching the channel for the analysis of Arsenal or entertainment. Gary Neville criticised Arsenal fans who appeared on the channel for being too harsh on Wenger, stating, I was watching Arsenal fans slating and slinging into him, and I thought, he doesn't deserve that. Robbie later extended an invitation for Neville to discuss his comments on the channel. Following Arsenal's 2-0 defeat to Tottenham in April 2017, Robbie was escorted out of White Hart Lane with police protection after being abused by many Tottenham fans and was unable to film Arsenal Fan TV after that match. In a video afterwards, Robbie stated that much of the abuse he received was racist and not something he experienced in years. Tottenham Hotspur condemned any racial abuse and was working with the police on the issue. On the 20th of April 2018, Channel 4 debuted The Real Football Fan Show, which was a TV show hosted by Robbie and ran for 30 minute episodes. The show featured fans of Premier League teams discussing various topics and would run for three seasons, ending in March 2019. In May 2018, Unai Emery was appointed as the new permanent manager of Arsenal. The majority of fans were pleased and optimistic with this decision, after him coming off three successive Europa League title wins. However, as time would progress, we would come to find out that the banter era was still not over. In fact, it wouldn't be for a long while, which could only mean one thing for Robbie. In August 2018, Arsenal Fan TV were forced to change their name to AFTV, 
following decisions with Arsenal regarding the channel breaching Arsenal's copyright by using the term Arsenal without authorization. People claimed Arsenal had issued a cease and desist letter against Arsenal Fan TV. However, they confirmed this was not true. Under Unai Emery, the club slogged through its banter era with the manager himself becoming a meme, with his infamous good evening saying. Which wasn't really a saying, it was more the internet just mocking him for his accent. By October the following season after he was appointed, Unai Emery's demise was starting, with fan criticism. With Claude poetically encapsulating what all Arsenal fans were thinking. It's time to go! With Unai Emery out of the picture and poor performances during Freddie Lundberg's interim management, Mikel Arteta was announced as head coach. Joining halfway through the season, Arteta would mostly have support from Arsenal fans. However, there were still major frustrations of the squad and Stan Kroenke, the owner of Arsenal. Due to COVID and the restrictions of stadiums, AFTV were forced to adjust how they conducted and filmed interviews after games. This resulted in AFTV live streaming all the characters watching the game in Robbie's front room. This would lead to meltdowns and memeing across the Twitter sphere. One of the biggest melting points was when Arsenal played against Brighton towards the end of the season. He did not you hear about no Mope. What about the performance no, of our Mope? You are an absolute disgrace. You are a cheat. I hope Brighton get rid of you. Don't blame me, I'm moping. Don't blame me, I'm moping. You're a cheat. You're a disgrace. I'll rock my own. Brian, don't blame me. Don't blame me. You're a cheat. You're a cheat. And like I said again, come to our dressing room and say what you said about our face. Come to our dressing room if you're brave enough. You cheat. Mother, you're a cheat. And I hope Brian gets ready. In July 2020, Claude was indefinitely removed from Arsenal Fan TV after an appearance on a North London Derby watch long stream, where he allegedly referred to Tottenham Hotspur player Son Hyun Min as a DVD, a racial comment towards Asians. Claude responded by claiming he actually said, another DVD is coming out, referring to a long running joke that Tottenham make many commemorative DVDs for every big victory. But Robbie removed him from AFTV and apologised for AFTV not acting upon it. In September 2020, Troops announced his departure from AFTV to join American media company Barstool Sports in New York City. Although he continued to appear on the channel until November 2020 and has made occasional appearances since then, at Barstool he would be hosting a new podcast called Back Again With Troops and insisted leaving the show had nothing to do with any beef between him and AFTV. On the 29th of March 2021, it was announced that Claude had passed away. Legends of the game and fans pay tribute to Claude and share their fond memories of the die-hard Arsenal fan. We are absolutely devastated today to learn of the death of Claude Caligari, one of the channel's most popular contributors. Claude was a much-loved figure during his time on the channel and through his passion for Arsenal, was able to connect with fans from all over the globe on a meaningful level. We had continued to privately support Claude during his time away from the channel during the pandemic, and the news of his passing comes as a deep shock to everyone at AFTV and in the wider Arsenal community. We will not be publishing any content on our platform over the next few days, whilst we come to terms with this news of his passing. Rest in peace to a legend. During the 2020-2021 season, Arsenal fans' frustration with the ownership and how the club was operated reached breaking point after announcing they'd be joining the controversial proposed Super League. And on the 22nd of April 2021, fans organised a protest outside the Emirates Stadium, calling for the head of Stan Kroenke. The protest resorted to the owners showing transparency that mistakes had been made and that changes would be put in place to put us on the right trajectory under Mikel Arteta. Some people argued that the protest was a bit pointless because Stan Kroenke didn't resign. However, since that moment, slow progress has been made. On the 5th of November 2021, DT was initially sentenced to 12 months in prison and a 10-year restraining order after he was convicted of stalking and kidnapping his former partner. Upon a review under the unduly lenient sentence scheme, 
Liam's sentence had been increased to three years. DT stalked his former partner as she went on a date, before sending her brother messages threatening suicide and demanding to know the location of the victim. He also tracked the victim's phone and drove to the hotel she was staying at, where he also assaulted her male companion. Liam then dragged the victim out of the hotel room to his car, suggesting he had a knife and that her son was in the vehicle. A bystander intervened and the female was able to get out of the car while good enough escape. After the hearing, the Solicitor General, Alex Chalk, stated, I referred his sentence because I considered it did not reflect the gravity of the offending and was unduly lenient. I'm glad that the Court of Appeal agrees. The following day, AFTV came out on Twitter with a statement stating, This morning we have been made aware of news regarding DT, who was a regular contributor on AFTV until July 2021. We are utterly appalled and disgusted by his actions, and totally condemn domestic abuse or violence of any kind. DT had made us aware of his personal issues in his life. However, we can unequivocally say that the extent of the information made public by the government today is news to us. DT appeared on AFTV on the 1st of Jan, when the severity of his legal case was unbeknown to us. The recent developments come as a complete shock to us all at AFTV. In light of the shocking news, DT will be offered absolutely no place on the channel again. AFTV still posts consistently to this day. However, the lineup of regular characters has changed. Ty and Lee judges are still consistent contributors alongside new additions such as White Yardy, a comedian who joined the channel after the departing troops. Robbie also runs his Dom Robbie channel, which features a wide array of football topics aside from Arsenal. Robbie now works regularly in the mainstream media with Sky Sports and rubbing shoulders with professional pundits. To me, it seems this upward trajectory of Arsenal performances, as well as losing three of the most popular characters on the channel, loses the appeal or entertainment factor for neutral fans. No matter what they do in the future, Robbie and co will always have a core fan base and have created a legacy that will be remembered forever. Thank you so much for watching this video. Follow me on all my socials at Fat Mima. Like, subscribe and comment below what you want to see next.